nothing like the nice refreshing sounds of running water. Well here's my aquaponics rig. Basically I have a 325 gallon capacity water tote that I've cut the top out of completely. I've took two frame supports, split one blue 55 gallon drum. I split that drum in half. I've got a 500 gallon an hour pump on the bottom filtration pump. I pump the waste from the bottom of the tank up, split it out into P-stone gravel. P-stone gravel acts as a filter. Get the fish waste and nitrogen out of the water. That nitrogen and fish waste will grow plants. Quite an amazing amount of plants I found uh, in my research are an option, pretty much everything but potatoes. Uh, then the water drains back after being oxygenated both through the rock and the exchange in the P-stone filter, but also in the drop to reoxygenate the water, circulate the water. All in all, project ran $75 for the tote, barrel, get about for twelve dollars and about a hundred and fifteen to hundred and twenty five dollars of materials at Lowe's. So push you somewhere just shy or just around the two hundred dollar mark, depending on the prices of things. Inside the tank itself you can actually raise catfish or tulupa, shrimp, crayfish with a little bit of work. Uh, we're not exactly sure what we're gonna run. Right now we got Pocostomus and goldfish in there. They seem to be thriving and doing well. The Pocostomus will remain. Uh, the goldfish will get friendly with whatever fish we settle in on as a permanent fish. We're using a low power consumption pump that we bought at Lowe's. It can be driven off a solar unit and a battery. Uh, right now we're running off 110. It'll run off that battery and solar pump 24-7. Uh, we use a, it has a sump style catch on it, which means if for some reason the water gets incredibly chunky and dirty and nasty, which it shouldn't if we leave it running, uh, it won't get clogged up and give us a headache. All right, there you go. Show you this other side over here. This guy just used piping. Left my down spigots on the back side. Uh, on the inside of that, I used a piece of uh, this pipe here. So if ever I want to drain it but not lose rock for the purposes of cleaning and so forth, I can pop these bunghole poles and uh, do that. All right. There we go. Here's my beautiful helpers. Peyton, carrier of P-Stone. Trinity, cute cheerleader. Noah, he's the get in the tank man. Thank you all for your help. And ain't we looking forward to Project Fishy Fish.